originally we uh, planned to deploy four Typhoon aircraft, but in the face of Russian aggression that we've seen in Ukraine, um, we've increased that to six Typhoon aircraft. Those aircraft are doing enhanced air policing and enhanced air vigilant activities over Romania, demonstrating NATO's resolve and our support for our partners. The recent uptake in activity was, uh, was unprecedented. It was very much something that we've not seen in recent years, so very excited to be part of as, as an operator, as a pilot out here. Um, involved launching uh, lots of aircraft in a very short time frame, so as soon as jets were coming back, turning the jets quickly, getting new crews, engineering tasks quickly done and getting the aircraft in the air again. So pretty exciting mission set to be part of uh, and something, again, we've not seen for quite some time. The change in operational tempo does mean that we have to react in a totally different way than we had originally planned. However, the team has responded really well to the additional ask that um, NATO has asked from us. That said, I think going on to 12-hour shifts was a bit of a challenge for, um, for some people and especially for the length of time that we did it. However, the team really pulled together and we, the end result was really worth it. So working with Allied Nations is a really good opportunity out here. In the UK we get limited opportunity but out here we can really maximise that. So we have other nations out here, whether they're obviously host nation Romanians or Italians that are also out here, lots of American aircraft out here and as well as the operational tasks we can also use training sorties in our spare time to try and operate with those guys to, to work on each other's tactics and find out what we're good at and what we're not so good at and work on that and try and be better as an overall team and integrate as properly as NATO forces should. So it's, um, it's a really good opportunity to, to develop those tactics.